guys good morning good afternoon good evening i hope you guys are fine i'm also fine thank you so much for coming to my youtube channel to watch this video if you're new here thank you for checking in don't forget to subscribe so let me introduce myself my name is juliet mukoya i'm a language assistant in france this is my second year as a language assistant and i'm doing this video uh to tell you more about a language assistant program that takes place in france every year so if this program is um maybe you're thinking of applying or you know somebody who might um, need this program please don't forget to share the video so i have some things to let you know about and uh, let us get straight to the point okay so i have um, some few few details about this program that are very very helpful okay are you ready so let's go so uh, language assistant program is generally for students who are in the university for the uh, third year second year and uh, from different countries they are able to apply and uh, they come to france to teach different languages it can be english it can be german it can be chinese and spanish and many other because there are so many languages that just to mention but a few so um yeah students at the university who are ongoing okay can be able to to apply for this program uh the level of french the level of french is supposed to be b1 that means you can be able to because obviously you can't come to to france and uh, you how you are going to interact with students who um obviously who are french so you need to have a certain level of french which is b1 for you to be able to qualify for this uh, for this uh, program be able to communicate you can be able to read you can be able to listen to french conversations and all that okay the period it's from um, uh, a period of seven months which is first october to 30th april every year first october to 30th april a period of seven months in france as a language assistant why not it's a good opportunity for you guys and then about the region because france is big there are so many different regions so when you're doing the application you have three choices like you'll make three choices of different zone we have zone a zone b and zone c so uh, that is how it's classified actually i don't know but the cities are in different zone so you'll choose three cities in different zone you can either be placed choice one choice two or choice three it depends if you're lucky you get your first choice if not second choice if not third choice like for me bordeaux was my second choice so that is where i was placed but i love it here it's a good place so you never know you might be lucky okay how many hours do language assistant do per week so it's just 12 hours per week oh my goodness that that means you have so much time like you have so much time to have fun you have so much time to to maybe um uh get to to learn something online or get uh, subscribe to something do more hobbies learn more meet more meet more people make more friends learn more about the culture and also do some side jobs yeah 12 hours that is a good deal <laughs> okay uh the duration which period do applications take place like for example between january to february that is when the application new applications come you apply january to february that is the duration even those people who are renewing it's all, always the same period the same period january to february so if you want to apply for the for the language assistant program 
you need to check their website depending on the country that you are if you're in kenya my people from kenya hi so you need to check the the embassy of embassy of france in kenya on the website and then you'll you'll, uh, you'll get to know the dates because i think they can they can change depending on the on the year so you just keep on checking but the period is between january and february february is the latest time the application will be closed okay so take note of that okay uh what will you really do as a language assistant being a language assistant it means you'll you'll be able to teach the language that you're going for example for me i teach english it depends with the age of students that you get for me i have the between um three years to six and then i also have the high schoolers um 12 to 14 12 to 14 so You'll work with them in groups you'll be able to teach them in class but with a teacher in class also or you'll be working with different groups groups of 10 groups of five and mo mostly you'll be teaching them how to do oral like mostly it's oral because you, you are there to help them speak so yeah that is what you'll be doing and prepare a lesson videos and uh, more more you'll do more of um, uh, make them lis listen to some videos and also speaking oral oral work you know they will also use, used to do french orals yeah that is what you do english oral and practicing more and more accommodation this is very very important because i know someone will be like if i'm going there am i going to be hosted am i given accommodation or i will sort myself so with the language assistant program, you need to sort for your accommodation. The euros that you paid, you uh, you uh, you will be able. It's manageable. You'll be able to get an apartment. Though sometimes it's always it depends where you are. Some cities they are very expensive, and then you'll have to apply for for uh, like uh, it's cough. They'll help you to pay a little amount of your of your rent. So it depends or you can get a school that they will give you um, they will give you accommodation maybe they have uh, rooms uh, or yeah they have rooms in their in their in their school you can be hosted or you can be lucky to get a host family it depends so it depends it depends it depends but accommodation you are on your own okay so you need to pray about it you can be lucky you can be lucky maybe your school they will give you accommodation or you get a family or you get calf that means they yeah they have not really i don't know how many percent they, how many percent they do but they pay a little bit of a rent but not everyone gets it it's just by chance you know but the amount that you paid you'll be able to survive okay okay about the visa that is very important because you'll be like am i going to am i going to like uh, i'll have to to pay for the visa no 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 is it visa or visa oh huh? is it visa or visa if you say visa it means you're speaking french by me i say it's a visa okay i don't know <laughs> so for the once you've done the um, um, how do you call it the interview you've done the application and then you've passed the interview and you're successful it's automatic the visa is paid by the embassy so that is sure bet once you've done the interviews everything goes through it means you're good to go you just get um you get you'll, you'll be given a date to go for your visa at the embassy you know and then that one you don't pay anything it's zero cash zero it is paid by the embassy because for us the kenyan um kenyan assistance it is free i think it's free for everyone though i'm not sure 
that is a disclaimer maybe there's someone watching this video and be like no it's not it's not it's not free we pay for our own but for the kenya language assistance we don't pay for our visas it is paid by the embassy and we like that okay so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful and if you know someone who needs to see this video please share it don't forget to subscribe i don't know how they put uh, the bells here i don't know but i'll learn about it okay don't worry i'm still learning i'm still new here so don't forget to subscribe <laughs> or or leave a comment and share to someone okay goodbye see you next time <laughs>